was a big old piece of trash. <laughs> Boy. Campy. Hokey. And just bad. Oh, man. All the sisters reminded me of Rita in the new Power Rangers movie. Oh, Lord. Huh? Was it woke? Uh, no, it wasn't woke. It, you know, it had it, 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 it checked a couple of boxes, if you know what I mean. So it had certain elements. But, no, it wasn't woke. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> two post-credit scenes. <clears throat> Good Lord. Good Lord, man. I feel like a half hour, 45 minutes in, I was already ready for it to be over. Okay. So... Shazam and the Shazam family are all united in this movie against the Atlas sisters, I believe. And they have come to Earth to get back the powers that were stolen from the gods. And uh, there you pretty much have the story. There is a cameo. They already let you know in the trailers. Yes. Wonder Woman shows up and helps save someone. Um, that couldn't save the movie. Okay, She saved someone's life, but it couldn't save the movie. Um, special effects, it looked really, for the most part, a lot of it just felt green screeny. You know when it just, it's like, they're definitely standing in front of a green screen. You know what I mean? The best special effects are the ones you really don't notice. It doesn't take you out of it and you're like, yeah, green screen. You know what I mean? That rhymed. Anyway, so, um, man, so it felt slightly bloated too. There were some funny scenes, like one of the funniest scenes in the whole John is when they all reveal themselves to certain people. That's one of the funniest scenes. The whole theater was laughing. The people that were in there, like the six of us that were in there. I went to see like a three o'clock show. Uh, the way they did it, it, it was funny. It was just really funny. Um, and it was meant to be a joke the way they did it, you know. So anyway, but that, a couple other... I remember laughing out loud around three times. I, la I legitimately was like, ha, ha, ha. But like three times. But the rest of the movie, man, it was like a two-hour movie. I think it felt like that. It felt like a two-hour movie. Um, I think, well, the suits were better in this movie. You know, Shazam and the family's suits. I think I like Megan Good's suit the most, though. Like, she, she really fits it well, too. She, she, you know what I mean? Um... But it's 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 kind of like how a sequel is. It's you know more of what you got in the first one, but it felt overwhelming with the kiddiness of it. You know, yes, they're kids, but it was le it felt less. There was less less of it. I liked the first movie better. It felt like there was less of it in the first one, sprinkled properly. For a kid playing an um, adult superhero. Or kids playing adult superheroes. And this, they're all in it. And it's just, I don't know. It's just really extra. With the kitty jokes. And all the green screen animation. And Rita Repulsa running around. And it just, it's... It's it's not a good movie, man. It's not. I'll tell you this though. I I I laughed a lot or giggled, I guess you could say, at how bad it was at times. 
So it was actually kind of fun to watch. Like, Ant-Man 3 irritated me that Ryan Dunge played the game. Bars. This didn't irritate me nearly as much as Ant-Man 3 did. Ant-Man 3 kind of pissed me off in certain ways, but I, I would say that this is one of those, hey, you got to catch all the superhero movies. Go ahead. Go watch it. Don't expect it to blow your mind, but it might be a bad fun time. That's kind of how I felt about it. Scarlo always, at the end of every movie, always remembers post credit scenes. And she knows she's fully indoctrinated <laughs> into the geek nerd superhero culture. So after every movie, no matter what it is, she's like, is there going to be a post credit scene? I'm like, babe, probably not. So let's go. You know, sometimes I'll look up in the theater if certain movies are going to have them. And this one, she was ready to go. She was ready. I'm like, babe, sit down. We, it, the credits are rolling, but... It, we haven't even seen the post credit. <laughs> it's two post credit scenes. The last one is terrible. The first one is it's okay. It's okay. It kind of hams it up with all the kid stuff that is Shazam. You know, I don't know, when I watch him in the animated ones. He's much less of a child. Um, uh, you know, having read you know certain DC comics coming up. Um, I'm not that familiar with Shazam like that. I know who he is and, you know, his backstory and all that. But I don't remember him being this, this much of a damn child, you know? So, um, he seems to mature up a little bit when he's, um, Shazam. But it's, it gets on your nerves. So, look, nothing against the actors. I think all the actors did fine. With all the actors did fine. Um, I just think between the hokey, you know, hokey jokiness of the movie and the green screenery overwhelmed with all the green screen effects, you're kind of just taken out of a lot of it, you know. Um, underneath it, there's a nice heartwarming family story, you know, um, of love and stuff, but... Other than that, man, look, I'm, I'm giving it to what I give Ant Man one out of five. It's it's gonna be like the same, man. I don't know, I don't know why I gave it, but they're around the same. You know, one out of five woos. Like I'll never watch it again. I never have to watch it again. Yeah, it's just one out of five. It, it's it, it's <laughs> it's not good. And I like all the actors, and I, you know, and, and you know, in a lot of ways, it actually was, you know, di directed well. There were certain things I really liked, but it just, just between the story, the comedy, and the special, it just didn't work, man. It just didn't work. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed my take on this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Oh boy, ten million subscribers. Woo!